Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Kakwadash. Yahweh being them, Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be. Ba in Ha the Shum name, Yahweh Shai being name, only begotten Son, meaning He delivers, He saves. For Kakwadash, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the Apostle Elders, Great Most and Earth, Well, Peace, Blessed to you, like the Israel. Shalom, and above all, back at it with the lesson of the Spirit of Power, Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Lord willing, this video is edifying, okay? And this is a lesson on uh, integrity, man, okay? Having integrity, you know, doing the right thing behind closed doors, man, okay? Still maintaining, you know, upright, uh, an upright fashion and an upright heart, you know, walking after the ways of righteousness, even when no one else is around, okay? And one thing that you gotta understand that even though mortal men or men in the flesh might not be around you. Yahweh Bashem Shai and the angels are constantly around you and they're constantly watching. Okay, the scriptures say how nothing is hid from the eyes of the Lord. You know, so wherever you are, okay, you could be on the planet Earth, you could be off the planet Earth. Wherever you're at, Yahweh Bashem Shai can see you and knows what you're doing. And the angels are also there reporting you too for uh, multiple witnesses. Okay. Like it says in 2nd Ezra 1666. Let me get that real quick. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 66, it says, What will you do? Or well, how will you hide your sins before the most high and his angels? Alright? So you can't hide your wickedness or your sins before you howl by and his angels, man. All right, because they're constantly watching. You know, the angels are known as the eyes of the Lord. Like, you know, people say, I got eyes all over the place. Or I got eyes everywhere. You know, which basically when someone says that, they're referring to how they have someone else to watch for them in different locations and areas. Well, how much more the Heavenly Father, man? Who can see in all locations himself, but as well has the angels there as, a, as multiple witnesses, man. You know? So, you know, knowing that, knowing that, you know, Yahweh Bashem Shai is everywhere, okay? And you can't flee his spirit, like King David said in Psalms 139, whither shall I go, you know, from thy presence, roughly paraphrasing. You know, we have to move with integrity, man, okay? Not just because of the fact that you know the Lord can see you, but also because of the fact that you know that it's pleasing in the sight of the Lord, man. Philippians 2 and 12, where for my beloved brethren, it's like you, where for my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, that is in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So he said, not just in his presence only, but much more in his absence, man. Yeah, so if, when a brother's not around, okay, you know, you should be even more on top of your spirit, so to speak, because you don't have a brother there to check you, you know, so that, that means you got to even move with even more fear, you know, even more integrity, man. Okay, but like it says, not just in my apps, not just in my presence only, man. Because Yahweh Bashem Shai knows who men who like to be, you know, men pleasers or give eye service or pretty much like to look like, you know, they're upright or they're righteous, you know. But when they're around the brothers, but when they're home, when they're on their own, you know, they just completely immoral. They don't have no code. They don't have no standard of following the Lord. They don't have no type of fear. You know, the Lord is not dealing with individuals like that, man. All right, but the Lord is dealing with an individual who has a meek and a lowly spirit, fears the Lord, who has faith, and also who has integrity, man, willing to do the right thing when brothers ain't around, okay? This is uh, Sirach Ecclesiastes 23, verse 19. It says, such a man only fear of the eyes of men, and know of not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun holding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts right so you know you don't want to be that man to only fear the eyes of mortal men you know Yahweh Bashamel Shah's eyes okay the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun beholding the most secret parts man so Yahweh Bashamel Shai can see the things that are most secret you know the Lord can see through all that 10,000 times brighter than the sun all right just like how the sun shines upon everything and nothing is, is nothing is hid from the side of the sun, you know, for the most part. Okay, same thing with the eyes of the Lord. But the Lord's eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. So areas where the sun couldn't shine, the Lord's eyes shine through that. It's meaning he sees it. He sees what's in the darkness, man. Okay? 
you know, I think there's another scripture where it says, uh, roughly paraphrasing how like light and darkness are both alike unto the Lord, meaning that the Lord can see you in dark and pitch black, or the Lord can see you in bright light, you know. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's how the precept goes. All right, this is uh, Sirach Ecclesiastes 23 and 20. It says, he knew all things er, ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. Yeah, so the Lord, he knew everything before and after it happened, man. Okay, so how can you hide anything like that from a, from a power like that, man? You know, and the thing is, moving with integrity, you know, is not always the easiest thing to do, okay? Because, you know, you don't have people around you, so your flesh can kind of have a form of false confidence or false security, like, yeah, nobody's around, maybe I can get away with it just this one time, but it doesn't work like that because you got to understand the angels, they, they're documenting that, man, and the angels see, okay, that's how he feels, you know, that's his mindset, you know, and guess what, that will all be brought back unto you, all right, and, and you will have to give an account for that, man, everything that we've done in these bodies, we're going to have to give an account for, so, you know, it's, 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 it's really imperative, all right, or important to move with integrity, man. Like our forefather Job, you know, Job 2 and 3, and the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth the Most High and escheweth evil? And still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. Okay, so Satan and the Most High had a bet on Job, but Job maintained his integrity even after catching hell. Because you got a lot of people who you know, they come into this truth and they catch a little bit of hell and then all of a sudden they don't want to be a Hebrew Israelite anymore, man. They get offended. All right, but Yahweh Shemesha is not dealing with an individual like that, man. Okay, and Satan answered the Lord said, skin for skin, yea, all that a man have will he give for his life. But put forth in thine hand now and touch his bone and his flesh and he will suck you. He will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. So Satan and the Most High making a bet on Job to see if Job is going to maintain his integrity. Right? And the Lord told Satan, Look, you can do what you want with Job, but just don't kill him, pretty much. Right? And so, so he so went forth Satan unto the presence of the Lord, went forth Satan from the presence of the Lord, and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown. And he took him a pot shirt to scrape himself with all, and he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto him, Didst thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the Most High and die. Right. So Job's wife wanted him to pretty much give up on the Lord. All right. She said, You still going to maintain your, retain your integrity? You know, look at all the hell that you're catching. You still want to retain your integrity, man? You see? And that was a test, too. Okay. Because a lot of Jake, they listen to their woman. You know, and they take their woman's advice when it comes to shit like that, man. But you can't take anybody's advice when it comes to advice like that, man. All right, don't give a damn if it's your woman, all right, or or or, or you know, a trusted friend, so to speak, man. If anyone's telling you to uh, give up your integrity, you how about you, shy? Guess what, man? That's not of the Lord. Okay. But he said unto her, "Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh." Right? He's like, "You sound dumb. You sound foolish. You sound like a foolish woman." talking about you know what shall we receive good at the hand of the most high and shall we not receive evil right because the most high creates both good and evil and all this did not job sin with his lips right so job still maintained his integrity before yahweh shai man even when he was catching hell even when his wife was pressuring him to go off and just die and give it up kill himself pretty much you know so we gotta learn from these examples of our forefathers man Job 27 and 5, the most I forbid that I should justify you till I die. I will not remove my integrity from me. Yeah, like the scriptures say, uh, strive for the truth unto death, man. Okay, defer not unto death to be justified. Right from paraphrase, that's a Sirach 1822. Sirach 4 and 28. You know, we're supposed to fight for this truth unto the death, man. Okay, we're supposed to maintain our integrity in Yahweh Shemesh unto the death. Especially when that hour of temptation comes. You know, when the MOTB, all right, the Revelation 13 to 16, that karagma, that rice grain gets implemented and they're trying to force it on people to, to, to function in Esau's society and grid. Guess what? It's going to take integrity in that day to be able to say no, all right, and to be able to reap the percussions 
from going through that, from denying that MOTB, man. All right. That takes integrity, you know, because you might not be around a brother, you know, when you get caught up in that circumstance where, you know, they're putting in front of you and you might just be the only brother around. But guess what? Yabash Mashai sees you, the angels see you, so you can't just try to fake the funk and be like, oh, a brother ain't around. Maybe I could take the MOTB, you know, I'm hungry. Nah. All right, you got to maintain your integrity, even if it means you have to die about it, man. Okay, a lot of Jake, that's the, that's the funny part about Jake. A lot of Jake are willing to die about carnal things. A lot of Jake are willing to die about their respect. A lot of Jake are willing to die about, you know, their money, their carnal money. They're willing to die about a lot of, they're willing to put their life on the line for a lot of wickedness or foolishness. Okay, but when it comes to something righteous, nah, 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 I ain't signed up for all this, man, nah. Okay, but those be the same Jakes who be like, I die, I die about mines. I'll die about my respect, but what about your respect with the Heavenly Father? Are you willing to die for that? Okay, in order to have some respect with, uh, from the Heavenly Father, so to speak. Okay, you got to maintain your integrity. And what I mean by respect, I mean like the Lord holding you in regard. Not that the Most High is a respected person, because the Lord is not a respected person. He'll judge you just like he, he could judge the next man. Okay, but to have regard in the sight of the Lord, to have favor in the sight of the Lord, man, you need to have integrity. Okay, you need to be doing the right thing even when no one else is around because the angels are constantly around anyways, man. Okay, so you're never really alone. Like how I said, lo, I am with you all the way even to the end of the world. Roughly paraphrasing. This is uh, Proverbs 20 and 7. The just man walketh his integrity. His children are blessed after him. Right. You know, Psalms says, I've been old now. I've been young now. I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. So if you're a brother that maintains your integrity in the Lord and you have a family, you have children, guess what? They're going to be blessed after you, man. They're going to be taken care of because you maintained your integrity before you have Hashem El Shai, man. Okay, now if your family does get judged, you know, everything's the will of the Lord. You still got to maintain integrity before the Lord, man. Like Job, his children got put to death, you know, but yet did Job give up and turn his back on Yahweh Hashem El Shai? No. King David had sons that got put to death, you know, but did he uh, give up his integrity with the Lord? No, man. Okay. It says a Psalm of David, judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Okay. Right. So the Lord is going to judge you according to your righteousness, man. All right. It says, I've trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. And that's the thing, man. When you trust in Yahweh Shemashai, you're not going to have to make haste in the day of trouble. You're not going to be left confounded, you know, because you've trusted in the Lord. It says, but as for me, I will walk in my integrity, redeem me and be merciful unto me. All right. That's it. Verse 3. Uh, so like King David said, he's going to walk in his integrity, man. And we ought to do the same. Okay. This is our Proverbs 11 and 3. It says, the integrity of the upright shall guide them. Right. So through us having integrity with Yahweh Hashem Shai, it's gonna it's gonna be guidance unto us, all right. In the in these times that we're in now, all right, in the days to come, okay. But the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them, right? So if you want to be a perverse and be a transgressor continually, all right, not seeking repentance from the Lord, guess what? You're gonna be destroyed, man. Okay. So you see how important it is to maintain integrity, man. Okay, maintaining. You know, walking uprightly, even when no one else is watching you, man. Okay? And at the end of the day, someone is always watching you. All right? The angels are always watching. You know? Just because you can't see them does not mean they're not there. All right? And when you thought that you were alone, you thought nobody was looking around, guess what? That's when the Lord looking at your ass even harder. Because it says he beholdeth even the most secret parts. Roughly paraphrasing, man. <laughs> you know? thinking you slick man all right you can't outsmart the lord that's why the best thing to do is to humble yourself down and be subject unto him you know and pray that the lord have mercy on you and keep you in these times to come okay so i just wanted to do a little quick video on that lord williams videos edifying i want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh basham yahweh shai basham akakradash double honors to the apostles elders great milson everyone well Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, Shalom and Ababa Ball.